Guys, good evening to you. I think that is the right word. As this was discussed today, heated discussion, by the way, you could hear the confusion and the disagreement on this bill and what it would actually do. Some worry it would force counselors to out their students to their parents. The bill's author says that won't happen. If a student was meeting with a school counselor um, in, in a private setting to discuss gender identity or ask questions, do they have to have parent consent? Thank you for the question, no. If they hand out materials to them, uh, then they have to make those materials available to them. I think I'm more confused now than I was when I started my questioning. My concern is making sure that we do not um, break that confidentiality agreement that we have with children and their school counselors because we've worked for years in schools to make sure that children have a safe place to go. This bill in no way is going to require a counselor to disclose that information talked about privately. I, I hope that's the, the author's intent, but that's not what this language says. This language as written in line three requires that a meeting with the school counselor be disclosed to the superintendent or a designee of the school district for inspection by parents or guardians. I thank you for the question. I and staff disagree with that interpretation of it. So as you can see, uh, just some, some confusion there. This bill did pass out of the Senate, but it's without title. So that means the bill will be reworked, but we will continue to follow it every step of the way. Guys, back to you.